Hey everybody, what I'm holding here are um, the scales of justice, right? That's what these are, the scales of justice. Ooh, where does this come from? The scales of justice. It comes from none other than the account of Tony Busby, yeah. Anthony Busby, the lawyer who is claiming that Deshaun Watson uh, is accusing Deshaun Watson, the Houston Texans quarterback, of sexual assault uh, on the part of a number of women that Tony B is claiming. Watson met over Instagram uh, to secure services from a masseuse. Uh, Tony is named Jane Doe's, and the problem with this case are manifold. First of all, rather than one lawsuit naming 22 different individuals, he's filed several different lawsuits. First, he said he had up to 22. It started at three, then seven, then 12, and then he said 22. Then he, but he's never produced a single name or more important, a single face or comment. Nothing, okay? Nothing. Which was really an insult to people like my friend, famed attorney Gloria Allred, who always produces a client to talk to the press. Gloria has done so with me by the Night of Winter Stars Oscar party for several years, going back to 2010. And she's doing so again in the case of Arnie Hammer. By stark contrast, the personal injury lawyer, Tony Busby, who made his money suing big oil companies suddenly decides to wade into the Deshaun Watson affair, if, if you will, or affairs, with this accusation. But he's produced no witness to speak, no one for anyone to interview, nothing. He claims he has women that have had encounters with Deshaun Watson, but he hasn't brought anyone forward. You can't do that in California. You can do that in Texas. So then he said he had text messages. And he's going to produce multiple text messages. He produced three. Of them, two purportedly had to do with watching, but the text messages he produced, I, I, I say, my opinion, are fake. When I put it out on a post because they're not actual text message screenshots from a phone. They look like they were doctored or create and created by an artist. And not only that, Tony Busby has a history of doing that sort of thing. He created a fake text message photograph when he was accusing the current mayor, Sylvester Turner, of being with an intern when he was running against him in 2019. That went nowhere. And there was a lot of dog whistle racism involved with Tony's approach. Shameful. There's more of that here. Very shameful. Okay? So this time, he says, after the whole affair of issuing the text message and not bringing it back any more of them on Friday of the 18th, here comes Tony again with this little, I won't call it a beauty, except the scales of justice are always beautiful, aren't they? Per advice, this is what he says, listen to this. Per advice from a well-known criminal defense attorney, uh, who? He says, our team will be submitting affidavits and evidence from several women who had experiences with Deshaun Watson to the Houston Police Department and the Houston District Attorney on Monday morning. <laughs> but he's not producing the actual women. So he's trolling the Houston Police Department. And what a couple of attorney friends of mine have told me is that, first of all, 
you have to produce the actual women. You can't, you can't get what he's talking, talking about getting through an affidavit and evidence. You have to produce the women who are complaining, just like Gloria Allred does. So this continues to look like a clown show. And the clown car is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All right? It's wrong for Tony to do this. He should just simply come out and come clean and, you know, say who hired him and why. It looks like, to a number of people, it looks like he is working for the Houston Texans. And on their behalf, he is trying to you know, devalue watching your video, live video here. I watched your other videos, great content. As for the assault case, I think something is a right. Deshaun wouldn't do something like that. Well, you know, that aside, and I'm not, uh, uh, in the simple fact of the matter is, on, from a technical standpoint, and thank you for watching, Matthew. From a technical standpoint, now, I don't think Deshaun would do something like that either. But And from a technical standpoint, Tony is way off. He is taking a Michael Avenatti. Remember Michael Avenatti, who was the attorney to Stormy Daniels? He's taking that kind of approach. And if he's not careful the way he's handling this, he can run into a lot of trouble. That's what I'm told, okay? That's what I'm told. If Tony Busby continues that, okay? Um, hey, John Marks. If Tony Busby continues that, he can, he can get into a lot of trouble. Because, again, I say that the best model for this kind of case is somebody like Gloria Allward. Because Gloria will want anyone who's really involved, all right, who's really involved, to come up before cameras, before a press conference, and meet the press. Talk with their voice, <clears throat> show their face. Tony is not doing that. And then he... His latest post on Instagram is that um, a lion doesn't listen to sheep or something like that. How you do, hey, how you doing? How you, okay, well, hey, guess what? Uh, I'm Leo, so you're right. Lions don't listen to sheep, Tony. Matthew says, correct, that's another thing. This Tony Busby guy isn't properly handling the case. I also think he's trying to screw Deshaun and make money off him. He is. It's a civil case. He asked for six figures, something I was, else I was told he should not have done as well. So <clears throat> this is, not only that too, I remember catching one of his videos where he said that the pandemic was hurting his law firm. So I'll bet you credits to Navy Beans that he was paid up front to do this. And I bet he was paid a lot of money. Because he's got not just himself, but his team involved. When you say team, that spells money. Somebody is paying him a lot of money to do this. All right? And the logical, the logical, the logical assumption is that it's someone connected with the Houston Texans, either directly or indirectly. Who else would have anything to gain by creating this kind of flim-flam lawsuit? Because that's exactly what it is. It's an exercise in my opinion, of flim flammery, and also in the opinion of a number of other people. Even to the point of writing on Instagram that, per advice from a well-known criminal defense attorney, that, that, okay, that in and of itself is not something a lawyer should do. You're basically putting your lawyer out there and saying that you're acting on that lawyer's advice. Really? Who? All right? Who? And then my take on this is, if you really know what you're doing, you don't have to do this. Okay? Yeah, another frivolous lawsuit. It's called a shakedown, is what it's called. All right? Oh, and then the Houston police, all right? The poli Houston police turned around beautifully on on uh, last week, on Thursday, made him look, made Tony Busby look real bad by saying, after Tony had basically implied that there was a detective that worked for them, that the Houston police had no knowledge at all, okay? No knowledge, all right? Um, 
Matthew says lawyers are not hurting during the pandemic. They're making money, tons of money, especially divorce lawyers. But at any rate, uh, there is no reason for this to do. But the Houston police made Tony look like, a, in my opinion, a fool. In my opinion, and I'm entitled to my opinion, they made him look like a fool when they put that tweet out saying, oh, we don't have any knowledge of these claims that Tony Busby has made using his name. All right. All right. So here he's going to basically troll the Houston police again, right here. Okay. Um, it, it's no, it's not cool at all, John Marks. It's not cool. All right. Interesting to see what Monday. Think. Um, this is a this is already very embarrassing for Tony, and it's just going to get worse because of the methods that he's using and his approach. He is clearly out of his league in this instance. He's better off suing, you know, oil companies or something like that. Um, but you can't use those tactics, the civil lawsuit tactics of what you use in an oil company. We're getting. People you claim are clients, but the client might be a dog, all right? John Mark says, oh, why is this happening? It's happening because you know, poor Deshaun Watson just wanted to be part of the decision-making process for the Houston Texans regarding their next coach. Who would be his boss? Which is, you know, a reasonable ask, right? After all, he's supposedly the star quarterback and the man they believe can get him to, them to the promised land of the Super Bowl. Why not treat him like that? So what? It's no skin off their back. But in this crazy world we live in where people are doing things that don't seem to be in their best interest, what did the Texans do? They stiff-armed him. So he said, fine, trade me. But they don't want to trade him. Or as, as a number of people have said, it's, it's, it has the look of like the boy wants to get off the plantation, as it was told to me by one friend, but, you know, they're not going to let him off the plantation. And I'm sorry, it does have that look, okay? So I think the league was absolutely right to step in and say, hey, you know, we would like to interview the women. Well, in other words, produce them, you know? But he's not doing that. Tony is trolling both the Houston Police Department and the NFL as well, okay? David says, sounds like a bunch of underhandedness. That is the understatement of the year. It really is. And what I particularly don't like is that outside of this sort of thing, Tony Busby seems like a likable guy. But then, you know, you turn around, you watch these things that he does, you think maybe, eh, okay. Because he has this habit, in my opinion, of targeting black men and trying to put them down. He did that with, with Kevin Sumlin, who was the coach of the Texans. And then he wanted Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel um, was a great quarterback, right? But, hey. Um, then he ran against Turner, pushed him into a runoff. But he lost, ultimately lost because he used dog whistle racism. People are, excuse my language, hep to that today okay hep to that um they see they see it and they reject it very quickly it's a different world today mr busby he says a wild i'm, I'm surprised to is still with the texans i thought he would be traded by now tony really needs to get his prior tony who yeah tony busby needs to if okay well tony to do this tells me that tony needed the money okay because this is making him look bad. Uh, it's making him go through something that people should not do to Tony Busby. You should not threaten him. Okay? The people, and I say this, people who are sending him, you know, leave him alone. Don't do that. Do not treat the man that way. That is wrong. That is wrong. I mean, absent this episode, Tony Busby seems like a fun guy to hang out with. Great cigars. You know, great cars, has fun, has his own island, all that. You know, 
looks like he's having some fun. But this case does not represent the best side of how I want to think about Tony Busby, okay? It just doesn't. Bad stuff. And to allow himself to be seen in this image is bad. And then he says, well, it doesn't matter because, well, it does matter. Again, produce, be a person who honors a Gloria Allred, you know? He said he just read Tony's bio on Wikipedia. He ran for mayor. Yeah, he ran for mayor, Matthew, and he ran for mayor against Mr. Turner. And uh, this is what he did regarding the text messages. He said that between up the text message and what he think it might look like, but he doesn't tell anybody that. But then a reporter says, well, hey, by the way, wasn't this, uh, you said you had the text message? Well, I didn't actually have it. This is, but I know that it exists. So you're lying about what it looks like. You don't know what that text message said. All right. I mean, uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. All right. So anyway, I just want to get this out there because, and, and, and I'll follow up with more details in the text later, but I want to get this on record. Tony Busby is trolling both the Houston Police Department and the National Football League, and it's not right. It's not right at all. Subscribe to Zinni62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com. I'll see you guys.